Hi ladies, I just want to give you a little um, how-to on how I got this acid wash look. It was not on purpose that I got this look and you honestly don't need to do it over a white base. So I just want to show you here. I am using Fairy Tale Twist over top of I Pink You and I'm just going to show you how I did it. So I cleaned off my brush as much as possible and I just simply started at the base kind of spread my brush out and just let the brush run out of of polish and I mean you could add more if you want this is kind of the look I'm going for as I'm going to do a second color so I'm going to cure it for 45 seconds here so when you're doing the acid wash look, there's no right or wrong on how to do it. Um, so on top of that, I'm going to actually use Crazy for Blue. And I mean, your options are really endless. You can go completely bright, which is normally what um, an acid wash look would be. So again, I am just wiping my brush off as much as possible. And then I did start it kind of back on the color, my first color, and I just swiped it through just like that. And it's kind of like a tie-dye look as well. And I mean, you could probably do a couple more colors if you want. You can do it more to the side, however you want it to look. So I will cure this for another 45 seconds. So now that it is finished, it looks pretty cool actually. Um, so I'm going to use Clearly Frisky and this is just going to blend it together and just make it so that there's no edges on so that it there's no texture right there where the polish is on. So I'm just going to oh, just going to move my bottle here. And by putting this on, it just made it blend so much better. It doesn't look as kind of choppy together and stuff like that. So I'll cure that for another 45 seconds and then I'll show you another way of doing it. So by doing the Clearly Frisky on top, it just blends it so much more together. It just finishes that off completely and it will make it last a bit longer. Okay, so now I'm going to show you exactly how I got this look here. So I took Knockout, and if you find that Knockout is really thick, you can actually kind of warm it up between your legs as you're prepping your nails, then it won't be super thick. But again, I wiped my brush off as much as possible, and simply spread out my brush and just drug it. like that cure for 45 seconds so now that knockout is cured I'm going to take lemon meringue and I've already pre-rolled it and again we're rolling the polishes because we do not want any bubbles in it so again cleaning my brush off as much as possible and then just kind of starting wherever spreading my brush out and up I go. And this one's kind of cool because you do end up getting an orange, but you can see how it kind of looks choppy when it's, um, it doesn't have the clearly frisky over top, but I will show you how it looks when we do that. I'm just gonna cure it for 45 seconds here. Just gonna move this one here. So there's the finished look, and again, it kind of, has a bit of a texture so oh, I don't know if you can see that it's got a bit of a texture right here so again I'm gonna do clearly frisky just to blend those colors together and to also get a better wear You could even throw like if you wanted a sparkle on top of there or 
really the options are endless. You could throw the holographic chrome over it. It would be pretty. And there we go. Thanks for watching, ladies. Isn't that just a beautiful look? So fun for summer.